Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. Welcome. This series is going to be a cluster of songs. I'm going to emphasize the GoPro view. So I'm going to show you how my right and left hand work together to mute, to get the flat tire happening, um, to be able to get funky, uh, just a lot of things that if you are looking straight on at the guitar, you're not able to see the role that my middle finger is playing. Each one of these, my one, four, and five chord, have a little boogie uh, created by chords. A, that would be like a C power chord and a D power chord. A power chord, I could use all three fingers or just these two. Then I just drop that down. Uh, to my fourth and fifth strings for my D. That's like an F and a G. And I've really got to mute what's above. So my right hand can keep that flat tire feel going without interruption. Um, then when I move up and do my E, it's the same thing. All right, so let's get back to the GoPro view. Up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Just loop that around. Notice how... For me, it's just natural. I just lay my middle finger down. Anything that I'm playing behind it, as soon as I push my finger down, it ducks under. I want to use it to mute my sixth string. So as soon as I push my, my first finger down, my fifth string that, that ducks underneath. See how it just ducks underneath? All right, so. Try it that way. And as soon as you master that, then you can loop it around. But you want to get to where you can. Okay, once you've got that, now let's move down and work with our D. You have to have your middle finger in play. Now, I do make the chord to where my first finger pushes up against the sixth string. And you want to stay with this and loop this around until you get the feel. to the A. Then up to the E. Loop that around. Once you get up a little bit higher on the neck, 
the strings, they start getting pretty taut up here. Okay, so that is, those are the mechanics for getting this flat tire. I'll play it all the way through once slow like this. That's my baby's gone crazy. Look at the GoPro view. with this um, when I'm playing something uh, there's this inertia that's created one I feel it in, in my body I never just sit still and I, my foot's tapping my knee to notice a couple of things one when I hit but how in between those hits I come right back and get in touch with this bottom string so I have eyesight I'm gonna loop this around springboard you can see how I'm picking up the strings off the neck My right hand is muting. Let's take a look. I'm going to loop this around. I'm muting here 
just like if I were, uh, if my guitar were just like I was in between songs or something and I was sitting and talking to someone and my guitar was plugged into my amp, you know, I would just do this just to kind of mute it out so it didn't make noise, you know. So just to get comfortable with this just being a natural feel. <laughs> Now, if I didn't mute, by grounding this, it gives me more control. But until I mute, do I have the ability to dance with my left hand, my right hand, down, down, down. And I'm just playing my fifth, fourth, and possibly even my third strings. See my pinky's holding onto the first string, so I have eyesight with my right hand. View down with my third, up with my first, and yes, it would really be helpful to practice this. It might seem like, oh, that's simple, you're just running your finger down and up and down and up. Try it, it's usually something people really have to work on. And people will say, Well, where do you start from? Just it's just like asking somebody that's um, sliding in the home plate. It's like, well, where do you start <laughs> your slide? Depends on how fast you're running and if somebody's in your way or not. <laughs> so you just, it just becomes natural, but you do have to practice. See how I'm dragging this down? I'm not like trying to pull it down. I'm, the guitar is just in the cup of my hand. Again, I'm just like when I do this with my wrist. So, 
you know, when I see people trying to slide up and down, they're very linear with the guitar and everything tends to be tight. So you really have to just kind of get to where it's just very uh, fluid. All right. And uh, my middle finger, just like in uh, My Baby's Gone Crazy, this middle finger really plays a role. Uh, my thumb, when I go to my D, because when I was playing the shuffle, those were different chords. So my thumb covers my sixth string and the palm of my hand here, but as I... My middle finger is there that whole time. And just because my, my finger's down, as soon as I go to push this down, it ducks under my middle finger. <laughs> 